Is there someone that lost a son who was mentally handicapped? Is that you? Okay. How old was he when he passed over? Nine or ten? Seven. Seven, okay. I want to bring him in for you, all right? Okay. And your first name is? Betty Ann. Betty Ann. Betty Ann, is there anyone named Kathy, Catherine? Who's that, please? My sister and my grandma. Okay. Is a lady in spirit with that name? Okay. My grandma. So that'd be grandma, okay? And she has your boy with her. I've got to tell you that, okay? Is this your sister as well or your friend? This is my first cousin. Okay. So that's the same grandma. Stand up, please, mm -hmm. because she's here for you too. There's a man next to you also who passed over. I don't know who this is. Is it a husband of yours that passed over, a boy? My son. Your son. Your son's here as well, okay? And your sons come together with this grandmother. She brings both of your sons with you. I will do one at a time here because they're all coming in. There's also another lady that comes in here. I'm not sure it's a mother figure of yours, please. Is your mother passed over, please? And did your mother also pass over? Because I have the mother figures also coming in here, too. And they're feeling a big heart around you. Big, big heart around you, okay? I also pick up there's a father figure also has passed over, okay? My uncle. One father passed over. Not yours, but hers. Yours is still alive, okay? Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, you did everything you could for him. I don't want you to feel, he doesn't want you to feel that you hadn't done anything for him, okay? Because yes. you really had. First of all, let me start back here with you, with the boy that was handicapped, okay? Um, I also feel mentally there was something not right, mm -hmm. you know, there, because he was, wasn't, he was slow mentally. He appeared that way on, in the physical world, yeah? But his spirit is much, much brighter than that, okay? Mm -hmm. He had a lot of talents, because I see art with him. He loves color, by the way. Mm -hmm. He loves color. I also like watching TV all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Was he also your, your son that passed over? Was he in a hospital? Many times. Can't and was remember. he in a coma at one point? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. He died when he was in the coma. He died in a coma, okay. I want to say about putting the pictures all around him on the walls. I think it was hospital walls. There must have been pictures you put on there. Okay. Understand this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Anyway, he's here. And I want to talk about, oh my God, your son also. Um, and he was a teenager when he passed his yes. over, please? Yes. Because he's very much a teenager here. I feel that, was he at the, hold on, or was, was his death at the hands of someone else? Yes. yes. Okay. Because he keeps on saying it wasn't my fault. Right. It wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault. Right. And it's almost like being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Right. Okay? And was he struck down? Yes. Like at a car or something, yes. please? Car accident. Okay. And I don't know if there's an intersection that this happened, yes. please, yeah. because he shows me an intersection and a car goes right yes. into him, okay? Yes. This is what he's on about here. And he dies instantly, by the way. There's an instantly, I'm going to tell you, I feel with him, he's instantly. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. I don't need you to cry at the grave. There's an L initial here, like a Leonard or Leo or L name, um, and it's in spirit, I'm Lena. saying. Lena, Lena, who's that? It's our, our aunt. aunt. Okay, and she's passed over yeah. too because she's taking care of him. Oh. All right. <laughs> and um, it's so true. All. You got them all. You have Almost. a great, great family Almost. over there. <laughs> oh, one more. Yeah, you have them all. Hold on. Um, I keep on seeing the pillow, so I got to do something with a pillow here. I don't know what this is. Was he laid out in a coffin, by the way? Yes. Okay. I know that there was some comment made about if he's comfortable in the coffin or if you had a do something with the pillow for his head. Do you understand? Yeah. That's what this pillow thing meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being me, okay. <laughs> no, but I kept on seeing that. They would not get it away out of me here. It's just, and I'm gonna tell you that he got that letter you put in the coffin. There's a letter you put in there, all right? And you put it right next to him, all right? And you also put something underneath his, I don't know if it's a religious, article you put underneath his shirt or something or around him? The rosary. All right. And you put it next to him. You put it on him. And you held his hand. <clears throat> Is there also another brother he has? No. Not at all. I lost a child. I know you did. He has his brother with him. <laughs> he has his brother with him. Okay. And um, I know that you've been out. He's talking to me about. And your mother's also passed over then, yes. please? Because yeah. she's here. It's very strong. I want to cut a heart condition please, who had the heart, not her, but there's some of the heart problem that passes up with heart. Was it your father or who's? Well, well, well hey, wait, wait, was it the aunt who has the heart thing? My mother may have. Yeah. That's your aunt had the heart. Right, okay. Right. Good, good, good. Go on, go on, go on. I know there's been some chaos around your house he's talking to me about. I also think there are bills that you could not find because you want to pay certain bills, he's telling me, mm -hmm. and you could not find the bills. The bills seem to disappear. Mm -hmm. 
You wonder who did it. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that in the dining room table, there's a table, there's a drawer. You understand? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay? Yes. And yes. he's telling me he watches you put that stuff in there and you stuff it in the drawer. You stuff it in the drawer. <laughs> thank you, Mike. <laughs> he wants thank to embarrass you on national yeah, television, that's okay. <laughs> but he's telling me about you went in there, the checkbook is in there, and there's either like a pad that you keep, the bills that you write out, you write like uh -huh. a, a, you know, you make a list of the different bills, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's, it's right near his stuff. It's right where his stuff is. It's underneath where his stuff is. Yep. His stuff is right on top yep. and, okay. Yep. So I got to tell you that he's there and he said, look for the bills. There are three drawers, one, two, three. Right. Understand the three drawers yep. right there from yep. the credenza thing? Yep. Yep. Look in one of those other drawers because that's where those other bills are. All right. He'll put them back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that. God bless Thank you. Thank you very much. Betty Ann, is there anyone named Kathy, Catherine? Okay. My grandma. And she has your boy with her? Okay, Betty Ann, according to James, your grandmother brought through your son and said that he was handicapped in some way. What was wrong with your son? He had a brain tumor, and that left him mentally impaired. And then when he was four, he had brain surgery, and that left a pulse surgical stroke, so then he became paralyzed. Because I see art with him. He loves color, by the way. Artistic, yeah. It's I in see. the family, but he had a sh uh, small uh, attention span. And just after the last brain surgery, was he able to just notice TV for the first time and notice coloring books. And then the tumor came back and he died. But he was just starting to bring that part of him out. So for him to mention that, that was amazing. Now, James said your aunt brought through your son, who had an accident. That's correct. What happened with your son? He was uh, hit head on in a car. Uh, car accident and he died on impact oh. and uh, so it was very sudden and very uh, very difficult to lose him I keep on seeing the pillow so I gotta do something with a pillow here I don't know what this is you know I was trying to make him comfortable you know even in the casket as a mother you try to do that and um, so I was kind of messing with the pillow and holding his hand and and uh, it was really the way it happened was there a moment for you when you felt like James made a connection with your son? So many of them. I mean, almost th through the whole thing, there was so much about him that was so right on. Um, the, the drawers and hiding my bills and... All the relatives, because we're first cousins, mm -hmm. and they were all there. The grandma, the aunt, the uncle, my mother, and my son and her son. It was really neat.